No tea, no shade, but oh, okay, maybe a, a little bit of tea and shade. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about and I will be showing you seven of the worst Roblox games ever. Like, they're really bad. But before I do, make sure to go ahead and click subscribe. Once you do, comment I subscribe down below and I will pick one lucky person at the end of each month to receive a shout out. Now, let's get on to these awful games. Just a little disclaimer beforehand, I want to mention that I do know how much work goes into making a Roblox game and with this video, I'm not trying to spread hate to the developers in any way. This is all 100% my opinion and if you happen to like these games, that's fine too. Just please don't send anyone hate of any kind in regards to games that I mentioned today. With that being said, let's head over to Ride a Fidget Spinner, 9,999 feet. Yeah, what a name. This game has over 24 million visits and has a higher positive rating than a negative one, which I don't quite understand. It does say to begin with that this game may not function as intended, which basically means that the developer abandoned it, or so I assume. So if we hop on this game, the first thing is we're greeted by a mess. A big mess. I don't know about you guys, but even just looking at this gives me anxiety and makes me want to click off straight away. But for this video, I'll continue a bit more. And finally, we made it on the path. I'm finding it a little bit difficult to figure out what the actual point of this game is. Are you just supposed to be riding it like a roller coaster or actually doing something? I eventually made it to the part that's in the game thumbnail, but there were no fidget spinners to be found. So I feel like this game might have just been popular around the time when fidget spinners were all the craze and it only got that way for clickbaiting the word fidget spinner in the title. I am surprised because there were still quite a few people in the same game as me, but I just, I really don't know why. So now I bet you're thinking, wow, Kayla, that game was pretty bad. How will you ever find six more that are equally as bad or even worse than that one? Fear not, my friends, because now I give you Rockefeller Street. I will give this one credit though, because considering the thumbnail literally says meme, I'm going to assume this one is bad, but on purpose. Basically, the whole premise of this game is to log in and let it do the rest. You float around with a group of people in a galaxy sky, which is actually quite pretty. You jam out to this slightly hypnotic song, which is actually kind of a bop, and you just dance. You don't have to do anything to dance, you just casually do until all of a sudden, oh my god! <laughs> entirety of the game. So next up, I'm just going to include this quote unquote game in its entirety and that's the obby games. Now don't get me wrong, there are some super fun obbies out there, but being the easiest to create, I feel like developers abuse these just way too much. It's so easy to slap a clickbaity title and image that makes you want to click on it, only to be greeted with non-stop adverts that you accidentally click on to try to get you to buy things, only for the game to actually have nothing to do with what it was originally titled. This cake obby, for instance. Where's the cake? Nowhere. We've all been cheated. And next up, guys, we have Fortnite Simulator. For this one, I think this is just another prime example of where developers take a popular idea and incorporate it into a Roblox game, mainly for clicks. Cause let's face it, Fortnite is an incredibly popular game right now, so if you play your cards right, it's a guaranteed popular Roblox game too. Even when you type in Fortnite on the main Roblox page, you're met with an incredible amount of games. 
Even the first one has a poor rating, which according to the developer was caused by a dislike bot. Not totally sure how that works or if it's even possible, so take that with a grain of salt. The whole premise of this game is obviously good since it was stolen because, you know, it's a real game off of Roblox. No tea, no shade, but oh, okay, maybe a, a little bit of tea and shade, but <laughs> the game itself is decent. It's easy to play, the look of it is alright, but you're immediately met with several guns and items that you can't pick up or even use unless you buy them with legitimate Robux. And with that being the case, you might as well just play actual Fortnite, where you can use the golf carts and all the items that make the game fun. Continuing on, this next game I'm going to be talking about is actually extremely popular and well-rated. It's also a common game used for role plays by YouTubers, but personally, I just don't like it. And that game is Adopt and Raise a Baby. Shocking, I know, especially coming from someone who loves roleplay games like me. I just can't get into this one. The whole premise being you can either be a child, parent, or pet, I believe, and you basically just adopt a kid or get adopted or something. I think <laughs> instructions are unclear. I also believe you can build a house or something, but I'm just not into all that. And maybe it's just me not giving the game a fair shot, and hey, there are positives to it. The map and design are great, the premise is just boring and kind of creepy to me if I'm being honest. Okay, so this next game, I don't even know what to say. I found it on my front page. I can't remember which tab, but this exact one was on my front page. Don't quote me on this, but I think it's a spinoff of another game, maybe titled Build to Survive? I don't know, I've never played either of them. If you go to the game page, it's yet another one that says it might not function as intended. Shocker. And the description, oh, the description, it's actually very interesting. Um, It's quite long, so I'll only read a bit of it for you. <clears throat> survive, 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 survive. Survive. End scene. You know, <laughs> maybe the whole premise of this game is to get through that whole description and survive, and if that's the case, I lost. This game is actually pretty decently rated as well, which I don't quite understand, and it has over 1 million visits, but when I join, it's not at all what I expected it to be. I don't know what I expected, but it almost seems like a spin-off jailbreak, kind of, but without the police or, you know, the fun. <laughs> you spawn in and you're automatically a robber, and I guess your whole goal is to rob people, and I don't know if I'm just a sucky thief or what, but it just doesn't work for me. There's something off about the map to me too, it's still Christmassy for one, and we're almost a month past that time, but the map seems blurry to me as well, which I've never really seen on any Roblox game. Even if I could figure out how this one works, it just seems like another boring simulator type thing and I'm personally just not about it. Okay guys, on to our last awful game for today, number 7. And this one, honestly the title just says it all. <laughs> and that thumbnail, that's me after playing all these awful games. <laughs> Just kidding, but anyways, this is another game that I happened to find on my front page, and I think it was under popular. It has over 4 million visits, which I just can't wrap my head around, and over 26,000 thumbs up. Yeah. Hey, maybe there's something I'm missing here? I don't think so? But maybe. <laughs> so you hop into the game and your character is in a ball. A ball inside a candy dispenser machine. And the whole premise is, I believe, to roll around the map. And that's it? 
there's things you can roll on. You can roll through water, down a Plinko machine thing, and yeah. <laughs> I will say I am thankful because I can roll in peace without things jumping in my face saying, purchase me! And it does look like you can make some purchases, but they're purely cosmetics, which I appreciate. Other than that, it just seems like another boring, pointless game to me. So guys, I do think that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I do hope you enjoyed and didn't, uh fall asleep with how boring some of these games are, let me know down below if you've played any worse games than these. Anyways, I want to thank you all so much for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. You are awesome. Don't forget, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment I subscribe down below to enter that shout out giveaway I told you guys about before. That's it for me, guys. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!